Cardi B is in the mix. What's up, Cardi? Hey, what's good, man? Oh my God, the <laughs> underdog. How does it feel, yo? Like you know, from DJ Hookit to, uh, to I mean to the late night to Jimmy Fallon. Jesus Christ. It feels good. <laughs> it feels sleepy. <laughs> I'm sleepy, but it feels good. You go, you go. You're like gangster with it. Like per- the pregnancy's not stopping the promotions. Like you're really going ham. Nope. I mean, it should be platinum by now. It's gold last Friday. Uh, I, I gotta see. I don't. I don't even want to talk about it because it's just like I don't want to put that pressure on me. I just uh, let me see the numbers. I don't like to give myself some okay. expectations and then it don't come out. And so I just rather not. Well, one good thing which would probably guarantee your platinum. I think uh, Oprah just tweeted it as <laughs> her favorite album. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> But five times platinum, Bodak Yellow. Did you ever think it would be five times, like it would be out of here like that? Because you're in the studio, you're in a different vibe. I mean, the song is out, and then the underdog is kicking ass out there. All the females are behind you. Yeah. I, I didn't thought it was going to be that that big, that crazy. Because like. you were in your own world at that time. You were with some gangsters. Y'all were just chilling, make, collecting cash, touring, <laughs> you know, doing your thing. And then all of a sudden, bam. Yeah, and then, and then it was just like it was, you know. I'm 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 understanding the music industry. I'm understanding how things work. Like all I I thought that like you make it, you make it when your music is on rotation on the radio. I didn't know the importance of like the Billboard. Mm-hmm. I I didn't even know what is required to make a platinum. Like oh wow, I did. I don't. I didn't. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. Like. And now that I'm doing an album, it's like, what? what is the requirement? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is it? I don't... You're just learning as you go. I'm just learning as I go. As you should. Wow, that's so all, all the... Ha- the oh, were those hand-picked, or did you have help with the features? Were those hand-picked? Um, with the features? Yeah. It, w- it was just like... It wasn't like hand-picked. It's just something that is like, you know. Like, you hear it. It feels like, good to do. I hear... This per- I hear SZA on this song. Oh, wow. Mm. I need Chance the Rapper on this song. Like, hear this song. Don't this sound like Chance the Rapper? Mm. This is a Chance the Rapper. There's a Chance the Rapper record. Is there anybody that didn't make it? What's the list? You want to say it off air when you when you leave? Who didn't make the album? Uh, I know there was a long list. No, no, no. All right, well, you can tell us off air. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, like, seriously, like, these are the records that I, I the records that I didn't make it, it just didn't have no features. We could have added features, but mm. it's just like we was being very selective. And certain songs, it just didn't make the cut because we had a deadline. And I got sick the last week, mm. and my nose was very stuffy. And no matter how many times I respit it, couldn't I, do it. I just couldn't do it. And now that you're realizing that you have that genres, every genre, Sam Smith, I saw how excited you were about that, Green Day, do you think you'll like collab with some of those people and kind of cross over that way? Yeah, I mean, I I have collaborated with some pop artists Mm -hmm. and it's like, I've I've been having like meetings and talks with people that they're like, oh, just don't turn pop on us. Mm. It's like, I'm Mm. not going to turn pop, but it's like, if I'm presented with the opportunity, I'm not going to say no. Right, okay. like I don't feel like I'm I'm like a singy girly pop. I'm a rap on it, but it's like I'm not. I listen to pop music, so why not try something new, and why not collect the bag? <laughs> yes, yeah. Ching. Like why not collect the bag? Why not uh open uh open up a new fan base mm. and everything, mm-hmm. and and all I listen it. And I'm not all I listen, but it's like growing up, like my mom, she's really like a Madonna head, like a oh, wow. Aaron Smith type of head, pet shop boy. Mm-hmm. So, how does it feel the, that there wasn't no need, like for the fake beefs and all that stuff, for your album drop? Like, you know, every time somebody comes out with an album, they always need like some kind of like, like energy of like bad energy to to bring people in. You are just by yourself. You got your hits. And you're on your own. Authentic. Especially female on female. I feel like they always do that when a female drops. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's well not even drop. It's just like ever since I even came up. So it's always spot, like comparisons. Like, like, comparisons this, yeah. and everything. And it's just like, listen, I am my own person. I don't care about what nobody else is talking about, what anybody else do, what anybody else eat, don't make me shit. Mm. <laughs> so <laughs> I just like leave me alone. I'm over here. Everybody's over there. 
I, I don't really need beef. I already got enough beef in my hood that like, my <laughs> friends be handling Shit. for me. I know, I heard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm not and I'm not the type of person to just like be going back and forth with people like on songs or anything. Mm. Like that's so no dis- no diss tracks coming from Cardi anytime soon. No, like that's just not my thing because mm. it's like it's, it's frustrating, it's annoying. Mm-hmm. And I'm always available to be seen. Yeah, Especially when it comes to like bitches. I mean females like us. Like it's like I see all these guys coming out at the same time and most of them actually do sound alike. Like sometimes I'd be like, Who is this? Because it sounds like this <laughs> Isn't other that so and so? Isn't that so and so? Because everybody sound alike and it's like, why you don't do that to them? Like why I gotta be girls? And it's like the every like every rapper right now, like right now, there's all like Nikki, Remy me some girls is on the come up and it's like I don't feel like nobody sound like each other mm. nope no no, not, not at all and, and to top it off you have the sexuality part when you're a female like you have to deal with that I mean people already saw me with p- p- crooked teeth I've mm. done, done videos without my wig <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's why people love you because you're so down to earth and it's the real deal. Yeah, still you, go to and Jenny. you don't give a fuck. I still go to Jenny. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I still, um, you know, I, I sometimes <laughs> I have an idea in my head and I want to do a video and I don't care if I look, if I, ain't, if I just woke up, I do not care. So it's <laughs> like, I, I do realize though that it's like in the beginning. Like, I didn't really want to do a lot of music videos out, like, showing... I show my body, but, like, I don't want to do it, like, with thongs and mm-hmm. and all this ass out. taste. It's not really, like, a taste thing. It's because there's a lot of YouTube videos of me with my titties out. I used to be a stripper. You did that shit already. Like, I did it already. Mm-hmm. I did all of that already. And it's just, like, I want to show people different of me Mm -hmm. but it's like you know I might just bring it back for the one time the one time I want to show people (laughs) that I still got it you know what I'm saying yo (laughs) yo don't turn me on I know you're pregnant (laughs) well speaking of how is that transition to motherhood starting to go Cardi B a mom (laughs) yeah is it crazy I don't know yet cause <laughs> I don't know yet like it's like I know I'm pregnant and it's just like I feel a connection but it's like it's so hard for me to even focus mm. so much going on that is so, cause there's so much going on that it's like sometimes I do be forgetting that not I don't forget that I'm pregnant <laughs> I think it's right there I see it <laughs> I feel it it um, the, the moon swings but it's just like it's like okay you gotta remember you gotta do a baby shower Mm. You gotta remember that you gotta buy certain things and I keep telling myself don't wait for the last minute don't wait for the last weeks like you did with your album or what, what, what you do <laughs> with a lot of things cause this is gonna be different mm-hmm. and like it's like you gotta decide like who's gonna take care of my kid on the road with me like do I want to take my family with me on the road? Like, I mm. do naughty things. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of naughty things, uh, pregnancy, does that stop sex Like nope. sex life? It's still going nope. down? <laughs> what? Yeah. Nope. Is it is it because you have to keep it loose or it's because you just... Like, no, it's just if I'm horny and my, my man horny is like, what am I going to do? Not give it to him? Or what am I going to do? Not fuck? <laughs> Speaking of that cover, I, I, I like the different covers that's out there. Whose idea was it to, like, you know, to design that? What uh, what's the origin of that cover too? Um, I just uh, you know, we did we it was a whole day shoot. We did different looks, but that one it was just so different. I was we was doing the yellow hairstyle, but the original outfit mm. wasn't going with it. And then this black and white, and it just looks so crazy, like so different, so. Mm-hmm pop not too girly i don't want it to be too girly i didn't want it to be too sexy mm. had that grime to it i just yeah like I know I just you wanted, liked one of the covers yeah. <laughs> one of the covers uh, <laughs> yo come on oh uh, leave what? her alone <laughs> what hey, hey. universal my mom loved it exactly. my mom pulled it up it exactly. was just a little mom different loved it too. a little different i don't think people expect it to see me looking like that so i was like, all right do you, do you know you started like a female revolution did you did you plan that too or you know all the females are behind when I, when I DJ all over the world and then I don't want to diss anybody but I skip <laughs> their verses and go straight to yours so mm-hmm. I'm not dissing them the, the records is hot whatever but I feel like I have to hurry up and get to your verse because it really changes the way women like react in a club like 
if you're fucking pissed off, your man is fucked mm-hmm. up, you, you you got a piece of shit relationship, it changes everything in, in the spot. Like, did you know that that's what your music do to all these females out there? Uh, I, I mean, you see it when you I do know, shows know, and stuff. I, I know I make them violent. Because <laughs> let me tell you. Say little bitch. What the fuck? Even before that, even before Boy I Yellow. It's called a lick. Mm-hmm. No, when I used to play forever, mm-hmm. I told you that I have gone to clubs and I have seen like 10 different fights. <laughs> it's, it's like that little boosie record, like set it off. She's mm-hmm. like yeah. the, the Annie Up. you like the new Annie Up. It's just like, oh my God. Yeah, make them real violent. <laughs> <laughs> One woman you you got beef with now, she's trying to take your sign is Ellen. She got Cardi E out there. Did you see that? <laughs> I mean, th- let's just put this beef out now. She just took your sign. She, she put her face in your in your album and uh, is this Ellen someone you, you might have a problem with you know what I'm not even gonna talk about it I'll just see her soon <laughs> I'll see it's you on soon. site Ellen yeah, yeah. what's that all about <laughs> I, I see you respect 3-6 Mafia we're gonna get to Bickenhead and uh, I think that's gonna be the next killer uh, I don't know I love that record by the way uh, anything behind that what was the influences of Bickenhead well who don't like that record mm. anyways mm-hmm. yeah and it's just like I just wanted I just love that record it's always gonna be an anthem I kinda wanted an anthem I wanted something nasty because it's just like I feel like there was a lot of sen- sensitive songs got that right sensitive songs in my my, my album and I'm like oh crap you got I don't got, got any <laughs> hype songs and okay. everything and, but it's like I wanted to do a record that they respect and mm. you know who the they is mm-hmm. approve it's just like you, at the end of the day, they they legends. Mm. Mm. So it's just like you're not gonna make a, one of the classics. You don't want to make the classic into some bullshit. So it's like whack shit. Yeah. <laughs> Get up ten. Uh, I see that had a little. Um, I don't know. I, it feels like uh, another Meek Mill intro type thing. Was that part of it or? Uh, well, you know, I always wanted like a a, I, I, a grand I, intro. I wanted something. The Mick Mill and the T Grizzly song mm. be speaking to me. Mm-hmm. I wanted something that speak to people, and it's so crazy. Like I was not even gonna put that song on the album. Oh wow! Because I just I was just going like all for people say like oh what's hot right now what's trendy right now, and it's just like nah, I, I gotta bring it back like yep. And I and I put it and it's like it's doing real good and it's just like I be I be telling the record I'm sorry like I'm sorry for doubting <laughs> <laughs> sorry for doubting you get up ten but you're number one on my album. <laughs> Do you feel bad about the Meek Mill situation or the the, the 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 craziness he's going through? Like, of course, yeah, of course because it's just like, um, this is the thing like it's just like I be seeing these kids. Caucasian kids get away with so many things bail this this mm. this mm-hmm. and that like how you gonna give somebody how, first of all it's so hard not to get in certain things while you're in probation for like what nine years oh yeah. my god a long time a long time and then on top of that it's just like for popping a willy like this there's people molesting kids yep. there's people robbing kids and like it, the boy is not selling drugs the boy is not being violent like what else do you want from people and mm-hmm. that's a long time you're destroying his family this is the man that like you always hear what that he's helping his hood mm-hmm. yes. he's putting his friends Put on. on he got his kids and it's like you're really taking that away from people just because Popping a damn willy. Oh, well, he's on probation. You need to act a certain way for your probation. Like, damn, you're going to have... I'm practically in prison for nine years. For nonsense. For nonsense. For things that that, that he had to do when he was hungry. Mm -hmm. Now he's not doing it anymore. Leave him alone. Leave him alone, but... uh, It is what it is, right? I mean, this is the world we live in. Yeah, it it seems like it's never going to change. So it's just like he's just going to have to thug it out because... (laughs) The bitch ain't budging. Mm. Invasion of privacy is everywhere, and uh, I guarantee it's platinum. And Oprah's on the. I can't say nuts, right? <laughs> no. no. Why? They so. <laughs> <laughs> no, we say yo, get off my nuts. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you How can't would you say, say Oprah is on somebody's nuts? That no, sounds crazy. What? That's gangster. That you got Oprah to stop what she's Everyone. doing. Like she's Illuminati. She she stopped what she's doing. 
post your album, bro. Like, <laughs> Do you believe on that? I don't, but there is a secret, a secret society. Talk to your label. Your label's here. What do you think they still got a job? Party be in it soon. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Like, do you, because it's like it's so crazy like people always have this com- conspiracy now yeah, that I'm famous stupid. and people be saying like oh yeah. you're in the Illuminati look you saw your videos you right have you have triangle. videos online like Cardi B like, and it's like, like <laughs> bro do you know that if I don't work I could go broke <laughs> <laughs> do you know if I say the wrong if I do or say the wrong thing out of my mouth you're out of here so, I'm out of here yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and nothing could save me. Like you see me go from poor to rich, and you see me working. Mm-hmm. How you gonna? How you gonna give that to the damn Illuminati? <laughs> Thank you. Well, you heard it from Cardi B, and uh, we're out of here before they do come and get us. <laughs> see ya. Invasion of privacy.